something surprising has happened recently in the past and it looks like it's caused some stress rather than caused a sense of excitement. Hello Taurus, welcome to your career reading for July 20th through the 26th. I hope it will be of help to you. Stay tuned because we are also going to be working on the love readings. Uh, your love reading will be done tomorrow. My producer will be doing the video tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. All right, Taurus. These were already pre-shuffled, but for some reason I felt a need to shuffle yet again. Taurus career, please. Now, Taurus, you'll notice that there is one divine animals card over there rather than a, an entire stack. Your card came out in the pre-shuffle, so I went ahead and I took it. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, six of wands but there's so many cups here all right wow like Taurus it's I think it's light camera adjustment my dears thank you very much all right so much emotional energy in your career this week The Hermit, the Six of Cups yet again. All right, Ace of Wands, Five of Coins, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Coins, the Chariot. All right. Wow. So let's take a look at the two cards that wanted to come out first. Oh. My goodness, I was worried these were going to be heavy because everything in here is just filled with emotions. Filled with emotions. So we have a perseverant energy with that nine of wands. So whatever situation you've been dealing with, with regarding your career, uh, with that nine of swords, there's a lot of worries, a lot of concerns about the direction you're moving in and whether or not all your hard work and perseverance is going to pay off. Let me show you the card underneath here because I think it will help alleviate some of those fears. You have Peacock, Prosperity. There's a warning with the Peacock, however. Do not let your ego get in the way. That's what the Peacock card says. But it also speaks of prosperity coming your way. It speaks of some sort of change with regards to financial abundance, financial reward. Where you're at right now, you're ready to give up. <sighs> That perseverant energy, you've, you've had about enough of it. It's like something needs to break, something needs to give, and if something doesn't, doesn't break and give soon, you're done. You, you've had enough. Especially with that hermit. You may be spending some time trying to figure out, well, what do you want? What will make you happy? What sort of job will reduce the stress and strain, reduce the emotional toll, reduce the impact of dealing with the public right now I have a lot of planetary influences that have created kind of a difficult difficult world at present so it's possible you may be finding a, a desire to no longer have to work directly with the public directly with clients now with regards to your current ambition I thought it's so interesting you have two six of cups cards so you could be looking at back at the past and saying, you know what, in the past I was successful doing X, Y, or Z, so maybe I should change my thought process and do those things again. Uh, there's, this is also a little bit of a romanticized energy in the sense that you may be looking at the future and overestimating your potential. And I'm not trying to knock anybody down, but because of the ego aspect of the peacock, I'm being given to give you a warning 
not to be realistic. I want you to continue to strive towards great, great goals, but make sure that you're evaluating all aspects of things so that you can properly estimate your forward movement properly estimate the direction you're going in. I do see you're going to be happy. I see you're going to be successful, but it's really important for you to make sure that, that you set your expectations appropriately in the sense that yes, you are going to be successful, but it may be some hard work to get there. You don't want to cut any kind of corners or anything of that nature. So be careful about romanticizing the direction you're moving in. Now, one thing that you are really great about, Taurus, is when you see something that you want, you go after it and you get it. So I do see that. I do see you're gonna be going after something new with regards to your career. I'm a little concerned about these cards over here though, Taurus, with the Ace of Swords and our outcome will tell us some more, but with the Ace of Swords and that five of coins, some sort of communication. Something's happening beside, behind the scenes that you can't see. And uh, it it's, it's almost feels like a storm brewing. Let me take another card on that. Ace of Swords, Five of Coins, please. Somebody that you're going to be working with is going to be a little bit difficult, Taurus. They're going to be a little bit difficult to work with. Just be prepared for that. I think with this with this energy of having been perseverant and, and dealt with so many difficulties, I think it's going to trigger you a little bit. Like you're not going to have a whole lot of patience for this person. So the two of you may butt heads at first, but I do see you are going to be working together. You were given the King of Cups here, which is beautiful. So this is saying, you know, you're really in control of your emotions right now, Taurus, which is fantastic. Good to see. Excellent to see. So when this person triggers you, you're not gonna fly off the handle at them. You're just gonna find a way to work together, which is fantastic. Your challenges, my dear, is to find that sense of happiness after such a difficult energy. Something surprising has happened recently in the past and it looks like it's caused some stress rather than caused a sense of excitement. And so it, it's trying to see the positive in a negative situation in that sense of persevering. Maybe that's why you're wanting to walk away right now because the eight of cups moves to find that ace of cups, right? This is what you want, but that's what you're struggling to obtain, possibly because you're dealing with a people issue here. Now, external influence, we have this four of cups and the 10 of coins. This, this feels like, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I feel like it's you dealing with this person. It's like you see, because you've got this, you've got this sort of visionary mindset. You see where this could go. You see the potential in here. You see the prosperity up ahead as a result of some sort of, some sort of contract, some sort of, some sort of um, partnership, some sort of project that you're working on. You can see the potential. But the person you're working with sees work, 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 work. It's like they're not paying attention to the prosperity that's up ahead. They're not seeing what you can see. They don't have your vision. You're gonna have to try to find a way to help them to see your vision without forcing it upon them. Um, because this person seems to be kind of trapped in negativity. Now the action you should take, six of wands, I feel like you need to show admiration to this person that you're gonna be working with. You know, in other words, uh, uh, point out something very positive about them and about, you know, the way that they are in their work. Um, point out their, their strengths, 
and utilize each other's strengths to accomplish this task. Because right now what I see is they're not moving at all. It's like they're gonna hold you back. This person is gonna hold you back from receiving that prosperity because of their mindset. However, I feel if you boost their mindset, if you boost their own confidence in themselves, it will help them to recognize the same vision. It will help them to see that this has tremendous potential, whatever this is, whether this is a project, a new company, you know, a, a work situation. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Taurus, success, success, success. Look at that, prosperity and success. Wow. I think you're going to be, you, your biggest challenge is finding that ninth cup for yourself, finding that wish, that hope, that dream for yourself and leading the horse to water and making him drink. <laughs> Helping this coworker, this client, this vendor, this, you know, boss, this, whatever this may be, helping this person to hold the same vision as you. I do feel you'll be able to do that because we have success. Let's, um, in the extended, let's get some advice on how you can go about doing that. And, uh, you know, let's, let's see how you can overcome this as well. It looks absolutely fantastic, Taurus. I wish you well. Bye-bye. So this is that person, you know? This is the person you're having to drag by the collar here. You're saying, <laughs> there's the Ten of Pentacles again. See, I was just saying that, like, I completely forgot we had that. You're like, there's money. Do you not see it? Like, we just have to finish this project. Once we finish this project, it opens up a new door. All right. Let's see. Why is this person, you know, not listening? Why is this person not on the same page? What's going on with them in their life? Four cups. Because this might help Taurus. Page of Wands. So they're they're struggling to be enthusiastic. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.